Hello, Jez Cox here with short highlights from the third running of the UCI eCycling Zwift World Championship set this year in the brand new world of Glasgow in Scotland. The women would start off with the big scratch race, exactly the same distances and same races as the men. 14.2 kilometers and uh, starting with 87 riders, only the first 30 would go through to the next round. So one big elimination race, one finish line, and a very, very tactical race unfolding as well. Possibly because Lois Adahis was in here, the Dutch woman who's the defending world champion, uh, very soon after winning the Cadell Evans Great Ocean Road Race, getting a big win this year. Jackie Godby, though, the American, would start a sprint very, very early, go long, and take the win. Jackie Godby, the American, winning the punch. 14.2 kilometers of very tactical racing there amongst the women, and the American, Jackie Godby, getting that first win. Crucially, Vicky Whitelaw was the last person to go through in 30th, the Australian. So that meant the first 30 riders were through. Everyone else out, unfortunately, and on to the next round. Effectively a scratch race again, first across the line, wins, but really it's about getting down to the final 10. It's three ascents of a climb in different directions. It's the Skur Summit. And once again, fairly tactical opening to things. These riders knew that only 10 would be going through to the final race of the evening, the podium, which would contest the rainbow jersey, of course. Kristen Kulczynski, the American, was very present throughout, making her presence known, and she's been very open about how she has targeted these world championships ultra specifically. Anvil's being dropped as the in-game power up by the riders to try and get an advantage. And then a massive attack by the British riders coming back to the finish for the final time. Mary Wilkinson leading them. Uh, Lou Bates just up behind her. Big push by the British riders. But it looked like it might be a little bit too soon. Once again, Jackie Goodby coming back. The American and looking strong coming towards that finishing line as well. Um, but in the end, one rider would show she was head and shoulders above the rest, and that's the defending world champion, Lois Aderhist, the Dutch woman. Uh, finishing just ahead of Christian Kulczynski. So Kulczynski's long efforts in the race obviously paid off the American in second, and Zoe Langham looking really good, the British rider, in third. So there were the top 10 that were going through to this final elimination race. It's the Glasgow City Centre Criterium Circuit, and there are two finish lines each lap. One uh, called the Clyde Kicker, and then one is the Champion Sprint, which would contest the final sprint between the last three riders remaining. So we're going to watch some of the eliminations as they happen to whittle down to those final three riders. Kristin Kulczynski doing what she's quite well known as doing is hitting out hard early on, rolling a big gear as well up out of the saddle to try and stay up and out of trouble and she was dicing with trouble at the back end as well where these eliminations were happening of course she was eliminated she was the uh, second rider out Kristin Kulczynski leaving eight riders clear by themselves as they whittled down again every uh, 1.6 kilometers these sprints and Catherine Furrer the uh, Swiss woman was the next out. This is when we were down to just four riders. So this is the point at which we would see the riders contesting who would get medals. Three of them would, and of course, one wouldn't. Sandrine Etienne was the surprise rider in here, really. And unfortunately for her, she was to finish in fourth in these world championships, leaving Jackie Godby, Lois Aderhaist, and Zoe Langham to battle out those podium positions. It was Langham who'd have a really good go late coming to the line, but Adahist, the Dutch woman, the defending world champion, avoiding the burrito as well because she was just so powerful, opening up her sprint for the line and taking the world championships for the second time in a row. She was absolutely delighted and understandably so. She'd put a lot into this, despite the fact that her road career now, of course, with FDJ Suez as a professional road rider is such a big part of her life. Absolutely de delighted with her second rainbow jersey, Loish Adahist, and showing just what a complete esports rider she is. Don't forget, folks, you can catch the entire men's and women's races back in full on the GCN app.